Hey, 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 this is Cynthia Thurlow. I have not been doing a ton of live video. I feel like I am becoming a broken record. Effectively, I am not doing a lot of live video, but I am inspired today to share with you some of the foods we have been eating since school got out that have been really been better or healthier alternatives to a lot of conventional stuff that's out there on the market. For those that are unfamiliar with me, my name is Cynthia Thurlow. I am a nurse practitioner and a functional nutritionist, and I'm all about helping to get some healthy hacks into your diet. So first and foremost, and this is a spin off of a post that I did last month, and it was one of the most, probably the most watched posts I've done in a while. Um, we are going to start with healthy-ish foods. And so if you have not tried these plantain chips, you may wonder why would I want to try these? Um, they are gluten-free, they are dairy-free, they are grain-free, and they're actually, um, it's a starchy version of uh, banana chips, but there are uh, bananas, starchy cousin. Um, there's actually a couple of these, and they all taste really good, but it's a healthier version than some of the conventional options like potato chips and corn chips and things like that. When you're trying to really clean grains out of your diet, this is a healthier version. The caveat being, a lot of the foods I feature today are not going to be um, the cheapest. So just recognize the portion sizes may be smaller, but they tend to be healthier options for you when you wanna eat something that is perhaps a little processed per se. Um, secondly, I'm going to show you these. If you're familiar, I really like Epic Bars, and so these are Epic Pork Cracklings, um, and this may completely freak people out, but this is actually um, pork skin that is seasoned and raised without antibiotics, and so these are a great option. They're super, super flavorful. Um, they've got some healthy fats in them, um, and I have to be honest, it wasn't my favorite um, thing to have tried before. However, my kids like them, my husband likes them, these are epic, they are pork cracklings, and for full disclosure, these are all my own my own reviews. Um, no one has paid me, and I don't have any affiliate links, so they are completely my own uh, recommendations. Next are hicka chips. Again, jicama is a starchy vegetable, um, and what's interesting about these is that they have the consistency, if you were to taste jicama, it has the consistency of an apple, um, but, is not sweet and so these are a really great option my oldest is gluten and grain free as well and so these are a really great thing we can throw into a swim bag have it a swim meet as opposed to a lot of the other junkified foods that are out there that they serve at swim meets as many as well as many other sports events next i'm going to talk about hmm Siete, if you are not familiar with Siete, it is an amazing organization. They are family based out of Texas. They have tortilla chips, they have um, cassava flour tortillas, they have almond flour tortillas. They've changed our life. I mean, let's be honest, I don't have tons of time to be cooking in the kitchen during the summer. And so cassava flour tortillas fit the bill for my, for my son. Um, they taste really good. You can throw them um, on a skillet and warm them up. You can put cheese on them or anything else that you're interested in. Again, they are not the cheapest option, but they are certainly better than a lot of the gluten-laden options that are available. They've got a very short list of ingredients, which is one of the other caveats I have for the foods that I feature. Next, I'm going to suggest, this is called Oat My Goodness. Um, although they are not um, totally grain-free, it is gluten-free, handmade granola, actually sourced, I believe, in Maryland. So really close to where we are in Virginia. Delicious, clean, fairly low sugar. So if you really like uh, granola, it's a safer, cleaner option than a lot of the conventional garbage that's out there. Really important when you're looking at, if you wanna have granola, look at the uh, grams of sugar on the back. It should be as low as possible, five or six grams. You don't wanna be having 12 to 15 or 20 grams of granola. I was actually in Whole Foods last week looking through the options and there are a lot of less clean options, but oh my goodness is a good one, as well as paleo nola is another great option. Now, if your kids like Pop-Tarts, um, my oldest can't eat the conventional ones at all, and my youngest would love to have them every day of the week, but that's certainly not an option. But this is called Bobo's Toaster Pastries, and so this has been a way I've been able to lure my children away from, my son's grabbing it, lure my children away from the conventional options, especially as we're at swim meets. I keep talking about swim meets. Um, the kids eat a ridiculous amount of calories. Um, Morgan, love this. Some of my favorite socks plus some new ones to try. Awesome. Um, there's blueberry lemon poppy seed, and then the other one we have is strawberry jam. And my 12 year old is trying to decide if he wants to jump in the frame. Mm -hmm. These are, um, again, cleaner options available. They are not low sugar. This would be a day I would let them get away with eating something like this if they're swimming. Next, 
You've heard me, don't open that. Um, you've heard me lo love on moon juice and these are um, brain dust. dust, brain dust. These are awesome. I throw them into smoothies. Um, there are sachets that you can purchase, but I now like specifically brain dust, beauty dust. They've got adaptogenic herbs. Um, they have other wonderful things in like maca and other um, ingredients that can be really, really profoundly beneficial. Um, and I even have sex dust. And no, it's not just about having sex. Um, this also has cacao. It has, again, some shatavari root, um, some medicinal mushrooms, all great things. Just gives you a lot of energy in a very healthy way without drinking coffee. And I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, another great option are these Jerf bars. Um, I'm a realist. Uh, you know, I have some of my nutrition friends that are always horrified that um, I feature protein bars, but let's be honest. I mean, how many times are you caught in the car and it's either that or you're eating junk food? So Jerf bars are gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free. They, they, they do have nuts. Um, you can buy them online. Um, that is Sean Croxton. If you're at all familiar with his work, he is um, a thought leader that I, I enjoy following, and that's his actual creation. There are three flavors. They're very clean. My husband eats the chocolate ones. I eat the vanilla almond ones. There's a cherry variety as well. They're all delicious. Last but not least, if you have not familiarized yourself, this is brain octane fuel, um, which is a variation of MCT oil. And so I have been gluten, grain, and dairy free 100% for the last several weeks. Um, I developed some food sensitivities, and one of the things I added to my diet um, to ensure that I'm getting enough healthy fats is brain octane fuel, and I've lost five pounds. Um, there's no miracle to it. When you clean out some, when you clean out some foods out of your diet that are creating inflammation, that can be profoundly beneficial. But Brain octane fuel is metabolized a little bit differently. You have to be careful when you start taking it because there's something called, and I'm gonna try not to laugh, called disaster pants. Anyone that knows me knows that I have complete potty humor. I sometimes will break into laughter over like the simplest, most potty humor things. Um, but the point being that this is bulletproof. Brain octane fuel has been great. You wanna start with um, no more than a teaspoon and you can slowly work up to a tablespoon a day. Um, if you get diarrhea or if you get an upset stomach, then you know you're going too fast, but it's a really great way to give yourself a fast, um, easily metabolized form of fat uh, without um, having to take as much effort to break it down. And so for a lot of people, that can be the missing link for them um, with weight loss, and I would encourage anyone who's interested to try it out. Um, any of my local friends, you're more than welcome to have a little bit of mine. I'm a sharer. Um, anyway, this tends to be one of my more popular videos. So if you like what the content that I'm sharing, please let me know below. I've had some really great messages from friends who have some other ideas for me and I will continue to provide valuable videos, although I have not been good about doing it regularly. Hope this was super helpful. Again, Cynthia Thurlow, functional nutritionist and also a nurse practitioner. Um, I'd love to hear more about what you are interested in seeing. Thanks.